As temperatures soar in southern Arizona, the relentless heat is more than just a discomfort for our area farmers. Yeah, the intense sun can pose a serious threat to livestock and crops as well. Kaga 9's Kenny Dorr spoke with one farmer in the foothills about how they make it through the hottest time of the year. The work on a farm never quite stops, and unlike other parts of the country, the dry landscape and the sweltering heat make it a bit more challenging here in southern Arizona. But despite that, and as cliche as it might sound, farmers here at Felicia's Farm tell me water is the key to a successful summer. Summers in southern Arizona are no joke. With temperatures often rising into the triple digits, the intense Sonoran sun can present challenges for farmers in the area. The summer heat has a, it's, it's not like, the, it's not forgiving like the wintertime, you know. Scott Robbins is a supervisor with Felicia's Farm, a local nonprofit donating 100% of its produce and eggs to other organizations serving those facing food insecurities. You know, there's only so many things that'll grow in this kind of heat. In order to ensure their summer crops make it to those who need it, they begin their summer harvest in the spring. Even in late winter, you know, is, is essential to, to keeping everything, you know, to be established by the time it gets to the heat because they got to have their roots, you know, it's got to be, they've got to be able to, to get into the, the, into the dirt to get the water. When it comes to their livestock consisting of chickens, horses, and goats, Robin says just like humans, a little shade and a lot of water goes a long way. Water is the key. I mean, if you don't have water, you're not going to grow nothing, you know. You've, the water is what, what brings life. Reporting from Felicia's Farm on the north side, Kenny Dar, Kega 9.